Hello and welcome to the Church of St. Medard in Little Bytham. Within the parapet rises a late decorated spire. It's octagonal and on each cardinal face are two tiers of spire lights. Looking first at the exterior, we find that the lower stage of the square tower is Norman. The second, or belfry stage, starting from a chamfer, is transitional. In each side is a window consisting of two broadly chamfered pointed lights. The west face retains two small rounded leaded Norman lights, one above the other, slightly chamfered. The wall of the nave has three windows. The middle one is early perpendicular. This masonry over the arch is a small block with the figure of a man in a sitting posture, sculptured in low relief, the identity of which it would be difficult to fix. In this wall there is this beautiful doorway of very late Norman or transitional work and this no doubt was at the time the principal entrance to the church. This south door of the chancel is extremely interesting. At first sight it may be taken from an early Norman doorway, but many think it possesses features that carry its construction back to Saxon times. This border spans three round or oval panels, two of which contain a bird in very low relief. The porch is early English. The outer doorway has a semicircular jam. This southern aisle is separated from the nave by three bays of semicircular chamfered arches. The stone base of the pulpit bears the date 1590. This recess on the north side of the chancel most probably contained a tomb of some wealthy individual. Here on the south wall of the chancel is a piscina of two pointed and slightly chamfered arches. If this door can be satisfactorily shown as being pre-Norman, it will then occupy a very foremost position among Saxon doorways in the area. These small windows could have been placed to enable the priest to hear outward confessions. This font is octagonal and on every face is retained the monogram IHS, painted in red medieval letters. Thank you for watching this short film of Little Bytham Church.